all right guys how are we doing today welcome back to another starcraft brood war ladder cast today we're going to be focusing in on this guy right here soma who's spawning in the bottom right he is still doing some military duty right now i actually thought that he was done since he was on the ladder and playing but apparently he's past basic training and is now you know doing whatever services he is required to do with the military he does not need to be at base every single day he can come home and you know play some games uh, in his spare time and the only stipulation being that he just can't make money uh, so that means no streaming uh, you know, no playing any tournaments or anything like that. So this is really his only outlet for uh, playing Brood War. Maybe, you know, a few custom games here and there. I'm sure he's still practicing with people who are in the ASL. Maybe helping some of these Terran players, you know, figure out certain strategies and that type of thing. Gotta stay in the loop. But he is not currently participating in the SSL, nor will he until next season, I'm sure. He'll be right back in there, especially if he's practicing and playing lots of games on the ladder. Seems like he's trying to keep himself fresh and ready for when it's time to come back. And he's going to be going up against Shiny, who's spawning here in the top right. Opening with a one Rax Effie with the Rax inside the main base, which is not typical anymore. Um, this used to be a thing a long time ago. Uh, much better to have your racks in your main if the opponent is going for something like a six pool, for instance. Nice to have your racks there because you can immediately throw down a bunker and just, you know, defend your Marines with your SAVs. Pretty darn good when it comes to that uh, type of situation, but generally just not as strong as having a wall in the front. In the modern age, pretty much always going to want to have that wall but quite a few lings are being being made right now and we've got speed on the way looks like it was layer into speed so no speed into layer shenanigans it's a two racks here for shiny he's going to be putting on some pressure with the academy finishing up earlier then for instance a plus one rush that we often see these days quite a few lings are being made man five drones are in production now so looks like he's halting that ling production but it was maybe thinking about taking a fight against these marines you can see another ling just got picked off there maybe he was chasing something an scv or something like that i think he's lost two so he's got he built eight he's lost two he's got six left i'm gonna come over here and poke with the ling speed finishing up pretty easy to lose an scv here Shiny gonna pull away, saves his SCVs, but takes a little damage in that lost mining time at the natural. This is looking very much like Soma of old. Adding a bunch of links in the early game and playing really down and dirty here with the two hatchery play. He's gonna get that spire out as quickly as possible and start to put on a huge amount of muta pressure. A third hatchery is going to come down at the 6 o'clock, interestingly enough. Fighting Spirit is the map. I actually have this map vetoed. It's the only map I have vetoed right now, guys. I played a bit of ladder today as well. Just kind of bouncing around uh, 1800, 1900. Kind of scraping the bottom of 1900 right now. I haven't been putting in a lot of hours recently, but... I did get onto the ladder today. I was uh, fasting, uh, which I'm trying to do every Tuesday. I uh, don't eat for about 36 hours, something like that. And I'm doing that for, you know, multiple reasons, health benefits and possibility of, you know, losing a little bit of weight as well. I gained a lot when I was in my accident earlier, not this year, but last year. And yeah, this is just, this is not going to come to anything. 
I would be talking about this, but yeah, there's there's just nothing really happening right now. Um, a little bit crazy to be chasing these with just three mutas, but picking off the fire bats a good um, compensation. He's gonna get this one too. Now finally we're gonna get all the mutas together. He's gonna go across the map. So yeah, fasting today. Um, playing on the ladder. It's a little bit tough actually playing while fasting and streaming at the same time. But I also went to the gym just a, a little while ago and I did shoulders. Man, walking to the car, I was like, man, I really, I really messed up today. I'm so sore, but we're gonna get through this. No big deal here. Eight mutas coming into that natural. He does lose one down to seven. So he can still one shot, but it's a little bit iffy right now. There's the eighth coming in. Once again, this fire bat down here might be able to do something uh, while someone's not paying attention. Getting a few more SCVs is getting kind of getting to be kind of a lot of damage at this point. Ooh, a little bit rough there. If he kills like two or three more SCVs, he's going to be in a very good position, but he does back off as the Marines head out on the map. We just had a scan. I'm not sure exactly where that was, but can't be running across the map like that. Two sunken colonies will hold everything. Overlord spots this fire bat, so it actually won't get any damage done here. That fire bat goes down and the Marines have to head back home. Pretty similar in the overall worker count and Soma is maneuvering this game beautifully. Hasn't put down any additional text just yet. But he's just staying active with these mutas up to 11 now. Has added on some more economy here at the 6 o'clock. Hasn't got that fully mining just yet. Focusing more on these marines. Making sure he can whittle those down a little bit by a little bit. Shiny doing a pretty decent job of keeping everything together and targeting. But someone will eventually pull that apart. Coming in now to pick off a few more SCVs. Actually got two with that last wipe. Not bad. Oh, Overlord's going towards the middle of the map. This could be bad. I'm gonna gun down the farthest Overlord and then two end up falling. A third could actually go down maybe. This one right here. If he's not careful. Losing a bunch of overlords at this point is pretty painful. Plus one armor on the way. He just finished plus one attack. Surprised to see him add an armor into this. Armory on the way. Here for shiny. Is Soma going to do something wacky this game? What is the armor for? I'm really confused. Eight meters just tracking this. As more get added on, back up to 11. Oh, just dive on it. What are we doing? Okay, he actually pulled out one meter. Just pulling out one meter to make sure he doesn't lose any. Like, man, there's only three Marines there. <laughs> like, let's just go for it. Holy. They're taking our time whittling that down, but. Shiny wasn't sending any reinforcements, so there was no pressure. There was no... Uh, it was not time sensitive. Someone needed to break through that right away. Or he didn't need to break through that right away is what I meant. And now back here to the natural. Start to deal some more damage once again. Opening up the position. Keeps on making meters. What are we looking at? Base in the bottom left. More hatches. No tech, more hatches. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Two bases in the bottom left-hand corner are being made, by the way. Coming in, picking off a few more workers here and there. Just harassing the heck out of Shiny right now. We get a couple more kills. By the way, guys, this is game one of three. I forgot to mention that. This is a big series here. What we're going to be watching today. And so, how will Shiny adapt to this? Just, I mean, what do you even think about this? Eight more mutas on the way. We just saw a Valkyrie, but he's continuing to make mutas like crazy. He's killed a lot of the economy. 
but eventually we're gonna have you know three four or five valkyries and that's when things get really <laughs> messy for the zerg player just one starport pumping and there's not a lot of minerals coming in right now so he actually actually hasn't started another valkyrie they are very expensive 250 minerals it's quite a lot here comes another one there are now two about to be three but how many mutas are there six here another 11 there two more coming in that is quite a bit picks off one valkyrie can you get the second one okay second valkyrie goes down is he just gonna dive on these marines now that's a lot of mutas guys and another armor upgrade what the heck pure muta coming out and armor muta armor plus two on the way that's actually going to negate these valkyries pretty heavily six damage per rocket it's already down to five it's going to go down to four soon you know after that valkyrie can he actually get it not quite able to get that he's going for ensnare we're going to see queens and hive on the way i think we're going to get some guardians here as well it doesn't make sense to take to to upgrade this much and never go guardians that's a pretty interesting build here what we're seeing out of soma kind of toying with shiny who i believe he's like really really high up on the ladder very strong ladder terran but someone kind of messing with him here i feel will he live to regret it tank push is coming across the map three tanks is a base killing force gonna come in with the scourge and mutas here we go he's got to take the fight now it, there it is he gets both the valkyries instantly the valkyries just get shut down what a few mutas here gonna come from behind from all angles i think and just try to overwhelm this here we go that's a lot of mutas they're all gonna come from the south i guess he just gets the scan there he sees how many mutas there are oh my goodness just wrecked absolutely smoked what are you even supposed to do about that i mean we need like four or five valkyries to do anything but just die he's gonna start more production on these valks two are back at home but that is an insane insane number of mutas he's even taking a base in the top left hand corner He's got multiple bases in the bottom left. Yeah, this is this is some clownage here by Selma. I love to see it. Diving in on top of the turret, just picking them off. He is losing quite a few mutas, and the Valkyries are getting some volleys off. There's a second one over here as well. I'm gonna try to dive on that. Man, that's a lot of mutas dying holy crap that's so many mutas that just went down there that was like two and a bit group of mutas and now it's just eight Jeez, that was not at all worth it but he is gonna finish up his armor too in a moment and then we should see a greater spire is what i'm expecting 11 more mutas coming out so many mutas hitting the field he's gonna go ahead and take center left a drone sent out maybe to take top left as well that natural he's already got the main in the top left that's being taken things are going to get really weird in a moment greater spire is on the way We've got 52 workers just the 39 scvs that's some real damage hitting these mutas but with two armor it's only dealing four per shot four per rocket R reducing the damage taken by so much that armor is just insane against valkyries now the greater spire is not quite done gonna dive on top of the valkyrie once again picks one of them off still has 11 meters here to fight how's the attack only plus two attack being done means he's ahead in uh, armor for these mutas over the actual marine upgrades which is insane only five mutas remain but there are so many more behind this 
just gonna pull the trigger and fight this here we go diving on top of everything once again absolutely destroyed wow that was not even close these two glass cannon armies this one being much much larger able to just roll through shiny and drones are being sent out everywhere he's gonna be taking gases at each base he's spending his money so well for being on this many gases right now he's on what five gas five gas still this one has nearly a thousand gas in it and he's already taking his sixth gas that is insane the greater spire is done are we gonna make a ton of guardians here some devourers as well i'd like to see it there's the first irradiate just coming out another group of muta gonna be sent to the front so many drones around he's just scanning i'm not really sure what i guess he scanned here he just saw that this base is being taken he's taking every base on the map oh man soma making shiny look like a clown taking all the different locations saturating these gases and just having what 20 guardians making in the middle of the map oh, oh boy oh man what are you gonna do about that shiny the plus two armor is gonna do so well against these marines who are just about to get plus two attack but this is four armor four armor versus eight damage You're gonna be doing half damage. Four damage per attack is pretty insane. Going after these uh, vessels. You cannot be losing these vessels, man. GG is called as he sees the Guardians coming in. Shiny taps out. Absolutely clowned. I love to see it. Soma still in the military, still kicking butt on the ladder. Now, Shiny, he's got to be feeling embarrassed about that loss. That was utter domination. He has been, you know, top 10 on the ladder many times. Shiny, very strong player from what I can remember. Anyway, I think he's been top 10 several times. So he's got to have a bit of pride about his gameplay and his skill, especially in this matchup. Terran versus Zerg. So... Will he be able to run it back here against Soma? Can he actually take games off of this guy? We've got two more games to get into. Two more opportunities for Shiny to run it back. Let's see what he can do. Jumping right in. Game number two with Soma in the top right hand corner. Shiny in the bottom left. I feel like that first game reminiscent of the meme if you guys have ever seen it where the guy's staring at himself in the mirror and he just keeps looking more and more like a clown shiny sticking it out but being made a laughing stock in that first game he's got to be pissed he's got to be frustrated but he's got another opportunity here to try and take down Soma. Who, yeah, from the very beginning there felt like he just had absolute control. Really amazing Mutalus Micro as usual from this guy. I'm so happy that he doesn't seem to have fallen off much. Of course, we haven't seen a lot of games from him. But if he's able to put out good games and is continuing to practice uh, while in the military, I'm not at all worried that he's going to somehow fall off and, you know, not not be able to get go deep in SSL after he gets back. So that is a relief. Another great Zerg player. kind of out of the picture right now glad to hear that he, or glad to see that he's capable of coming back you know we have so many zergs who just cannot play like larva is out with a wrist injury 
Uh, same thing goes for effort. Effort out with a wrist injury, and it really reflects in the SSL qualifiers. Like, had the least number of Zergs, or the the lowest number of any race. I think it was just seven Zerg players qualified. But of course, we do have some of the strongest players for the Zerg race ever playing right now, which is Soul Key and Hero, both in the round of four. Overrepresented in the semifinal and final, and underrepresented in the qualifier and, you know, round of uh, 24. Kind of funny, kind of interesting. A set of circumstances there. Another two base play here from Soma. This time, what are we going to get? A uh, Academy Rush. So we will still see two racks play, I think. But the Academy a little bit quicker. Last time he went Barracks. A uh, second Barracks before Gas. To try and get more Marines out. To maybe try to put on some pressure. This time... Opting for the faster gas, the faster academy, and the bit slower marine timing with the barracks a bit later. Reasonable adjustment here. He realized that last time he wasn't really able to get any damage with those marines, and this time he's cross map, so unlikely that he'll be able to push all the way over here and actually deal any sort of damage. Might as well just get those upgrades really rolling. And by upgrades, I mean stim and range. No early upgrade in terms of that gauze rifle. Uh, at least in this game. Three marines are pushing out, but a medic just popped. I think we want to stick with that medic. He is going to go back home. A little bit risky there from shiny pushing out like that. If four lings are there. There were actually two lings running up. But if four lings are there, you can just immediately lose your three marines and... We really don't have many Marines this game. At least not yet. A third Rax on the way. And the second gas will be saturated. Where is he going to go for his third base? Another third? High ground third? Is that where we're going to go? I mean, it's Fighting Spirit again. He showed it last game. Showed it to be quite strong. But no, a hatchery in the main. So it's actually 2.5 hatchery. I was wrong on that. I thought it was going to be two hatch play, but he's got the third hatch here in the main. Another armor upgrade coming. Very interesting. So I'm going to keep tabs on these Marines. Seeing when they're planning to move out. Keeping those lings alive. And has Mutilus on the way now. So, although we did go for a very fast academy, we're not actually going to be able to put on pressure enough to force sunken colonies on the side of Soma. So, that's a little bit rough here. And the, the missile turrets are not done constructing. So, some extra damage goes down on a few of these SCVs before the turrets can even start to attack. Marines are moving across the map now, as they should, in order to force the Mutas to pay attention rather than stay and harass that natural. Gonna pull all the Mutas together now and try to find some damage here on this bio ball. Good job by Shiny, just kind of running down some of these Mutas as they're coming out here to assist. This is exactly what you want to do as Soma, though. Staying in between the rally point and the Marine Medic Ball. Try to catch anything coming across the map. Here comes some units. He should be able to catch this. All right. He had to turn around for a moment. Running into the natural now. Here comes the lings from behind. But the lings do not have great surface area. Lings not really doing too well here. And the mutas are going to die in large number. That was pretty rough there for Soma. Waiting until the last moment. And Shiny ended up getting a very nice position. That was tough for those links to engage into. This one armor is just about done here. Gonna start a Hydroden Queen's Nest back at home. But is this for a major transition or are we gonna see an, a, or is this like an evolution chamber type of game or is this a guardian type of game? 
If it was a Guardian, I guess the Hydra Den would be a little later. Since we've got the Hydra Den already, I'm leaning towards a Lurker uh, game into, you know, pretty standard play with the Evo Chamber coming up pretty soon. We're just heading around towards this natural, looking for some damage. Pretty locked down here is Shiny. And yeah, you're not going to find too much damage here. Just three racks right into tech. Fourth racks coming online. He's going to go into Valkyrie once again. Didn't really work out too well for him last game. And he even gets inside the main base and sees the, the hive and the queen's nest and everything. Will he just switch it up and start immediately going into science facility? I feel like that would be a good call, but he may not end up doing that. Yeah, there's the Lurker upgrade on the way. We're going to see Lurkers come out and cover these two different areas. The top left-hand corner and the uh, natural for starters. No additional turrets being built here is a little bit rough. Shiny's going to take some extra damage because he just doesn't have anything covering these barracks. Not as much damage as I would have thought, but a little bit of a mistake there for Soma. Kind of failing to fire a couple of times and he will just back off. We're going to have that Defiler Mound now. We should have a Nidus Canal started up in just a moment. That yeah, looks like it's going to be started here. Maybe in the natural. There it is. Okay. Over at the third base. And he should just have lurkers in time. There really shouldn't be anything that Shiny can do to him. Not with the Valkyrie. Not with the Marines. Those are not going to help you in this type of situation. You really do need... Uh, vessels in order to get rid of those lurkers that are going to be underground. Two lurkers here at the natural. Not quite enough to hold the full army of shiny. He actually needs a bit more. Going to add some sunkins here to shore up the defenses. These uh, Valkyries might end up getting caught. Potentially. If the mutas are just going to come all the way back home. There we go. He does catch on to that. He gets a muta there. But not for free. He takes quite a bit of damage. This lurker egg being a little bit clutch. Just kind of hanging out in the front. Lurker does die though immediately. And so shiny will back off. Lurkers on high ground. Lurkers here under the Dark Swarm, or not under the Dark Swarm, under the Overlord. Just kind of hiding out. We've got two there. And this is a lot of drones. We've really droned up very heavily. Something that I may be missing in my play is the ability to drone up this hard while dealing with all the stuff that's going on, the potential breakthroughs, you know, getting the Lurkers and having them in the right place, getting the Defiler and all the upgrades rolling at the same time. It's tough. There's a lot going on. There's the Evolution Chamber now. And the Ultralisk Cavern going to be thrown down at the same time. Can he secure a fourth base, though? That is the question right now. Fourth base, absolutely essential to get Ultras up and running full time. With three gas, you can kind of keep Ultra production sort of going. You can't really build anything else. If you have to build some Scourge and stuff, it's really going to cut into your Ultra production. Have some vessels come up here soon, I think. There's the first vessel. It's on the way. Lurkers are going to run up. The Defiler helping out. This is going to be shoved back. Vessel making a run for it. The Dark Swarm here. Going after that. Can he actually get it? Nicely done. Very, very good stuff there from Soma. Utilizing the Dark Swarm and the Lings just to get that kill. And now he's going to be feeling very, very good. He killed the first vessel. And you've got your three base up. Your fourth base on the way. This is looking fantastic. Soma. Scary, man. He is still very, very scary. Gonna slip some lings out, but there's quite a bit of marine medic on this high ground. So he won't be doing too much with that. 
You know, the base is going to come down here at the bottom center. Shiny going to try to get into late game here as quickly as possible. Picking up and, uh, you know, running back with that lurker. He's going to go ahead and burrow right in the face of these marines, but they can just target the hatchery. He forces the cancel and the lurkers going to maneuver forward here. That is rough. Losing a couple of lurkers and the hatchery. Pretty terrible there for Soma. He's really going to be feeling that one. Does he have play yet? I don't, don't quite see it. Seems like he's prioritizing more tightness plating and the upgrades. Gonna have vessels coming in now. Starting to throw down those irradiates. Two of these lurkers are going to die for free as, uh, as that irradiate just chips away at the health. There's that other evolution chamber. Double upgrade at the same time. Plus two not done yet, okay. Another kill on one of those vessels. Some lurkers running forward. Is he gonna get the, the defiler two HP? Just two HP on that. Pretty rough. Does he have a Dark Swarm? There we go. Dark Swarm goes down. We'll be able to force that back. That was a little bit scary. If he loses that base again, things are going to get really weird for Soma. He's going to be very much running out of gas here pretty soon. Nice play. Lurker's a little bit outside of Dark Swarm there. Gotta be careful with that. Lurker from behind as well. Plague on some of these fire bats. Making them somewhat useless for the time being. Ultra speed on the way. Fourth gas is down. Can the Soma hang on long enough to make use of this fourth gas and to, to really get it into ultra production? That Lurker being very annoying. Eventually will fall. The eight health defiler. Hanging on here for dear life, but it will die super super fast to absolutely anything Here comes that Defiler once again, but he opts not to dive in Deciding he'd rather drop back and just dark drop a dark swarm In the place instead This is a very juicy uh, Plague right here if he can get it nicely done Beautiful plague there from Soma. Another defiler heading out on the map. Maybe here to head off this marine firebat army. And that could be huge. Okay, there is the defiler moving forward. We're moving, yeah, moving over to this side of the map. And Soma actually lost a defiler there, but he manages to cast a spell with the second defiler. These ultras are going to head further and further south. We do have that ultra speed now. The filer is going to die just, just before he makes it over there to the bottom center. That is a little bit rough. But at least he makes it in over here. Dealing some damage, forcing another lift. And it's hard to afford at this point. Shiny is... Not really mining too much. He's got some mining back at home. It is main and natural, but it's running out very soon. A couple of battle cruisers making their way in. And start to hit that gas. One feature of this map. Mutas and Scourge gonna clear out everything and at least two ultras kinda holding their ground right now. And what was that? Okay, it was actually a defiler that got irradiated. This last ultra just hanging in there for so long. We'll get under the Dark Swarm and just kind of deny space. So Shiny will back off for now, but he's got to start making things happen. He's He's got to start moving around this map a little bit more. Picking things off. Maybe going for drops or something. Because six ultras are on the way right now. Six ultras is a disgusting number to deal with. So difficult to handle. Looks like Marine's going to make their way over here, but instantly Soma recognizing this is a weak point. 
Vessels are going down here. Two vessels fall, actually. And more are to come. There's just that one, you know, three HP vessel there. Pretty rough. And Ultras are going to get it on top of this CC. Some battle cruisers are here once again to try and force out more Scourge. Just get some kills here and there. Four armor is done. Just two attack is done for shiny but he is ahead he could he, he can have like a, a little bit of time where he's uh slightly ahead in upgrades just one upgrade ahead for a certain period now this defiler needs to get over here let's get some dark storm on this base he's done a great job getting in here but dark storm's gonna help significantly breaking through this position there we go dark storm now finally thrown down shiny's gonna be forced off of six o'clock that is for sure and soma is out of control right now he's got so many ultras he's got plus one attack he's upgrading plus two attack as well a lot of lings just died right there but the ultras are right right behind them can start to dig this fight. That ultra really not doing too much. The rest, well, they're not doing too hot either. That's a lot of Marines. And maybe he can push towards this natural here now. SCV is trying to take down this ultra list, but it's really not working out well for them. Lurker on the high ground. You've never seen that before, but I guess there's a time and place for everything. And battle cruisers unable to do anything in this natural Soma taking another game here as his opponent taps out. Ugh. Really doesn't feel like he could do much. Oh, the ultras making it into the natural as well. That is rough. The counter attack. Kind of slapping down. Shiny here. Soma. So impressive. Hardly feels like there's any gap in his play at all, but. This is what Terran players are meant to be abusing is this middle stage of the game where the Ultralists aren't quite out yet. And it really doesn't feel like Shiny's able to do that against a player the caliber of Soma. Well, he's got one more chance here, guys. We'll let him have that at least. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he can take out a game or take a game down here versus Soma. Let's see he's ready for this challenge all right game number three now shiny up here in the top right hand corner soma in the bottom left and still no communication between these two seems like they don't know who each other are um maybe one of them might know i don't know these are kind of random accounts that they're both playing on just kind of hiding their identities but um I mean, it's hard to hide your identity when you play Zerg at this level. Like, who could it actually be? Uh, there's just so few Zerg players who can... ...control mutas like what we see from Soma. And so glad to see that... I mean, I keep saying this over and over again, so I apologize. But I'm really glad to see that Soma is just crushing it. Can't wait to see him effort... And maybe even Larva come back into the scene. Can have a, a great season if all of those players manage to get back. I'm really happy that we have players like Jadong still. And that he's looking very good this season. But I do want to see those classic players. Those other amazing players in those brackets. It's... Such a shame not having a Larva, honestly. Absolutely one of my favorite players and just such a character. So fun to watch. Now, Soma here is opened with an overpool. He's going to grab his hatchery and go directly into a gas. And he's just going to make a couple of pairs of lings here. Now, for me, when I do the build like this, it's... 
a bit harder for me to get these um to get these lings out and to get the gas at the same time i think that's because of mineral optimization soma is just making sure that every single drone is mining the absolute optimal patch and that he's able to eke out just that little bit of extra minerals to get all of this done at the same time and so he will have a little ling group to pressure and make sure that no uh, marines are going to come across the map and and bother him and he can get into his lair at a very reasonable time of course the amount of larva that he has the the access to larva and therefore units will be less because this hatchery is just uh a bit later than for instance the 12 pool but he wanted to make sure that he was safe and that's totally understandable after taking down a Terran player two times in a row. It's pretty... Uh, it, it, there's a good chance that they're going to try something like an 8 racks. Just to get out of that situation. As quickly as possible. Just to... Just to... You know, try to take a quick win. When they're having a hard time. It's It's human nature basically. When you're put into a, a rough, difficult position, you feel like you can't win. Going for like the easy way out, going for the quickest path to victory uh, tends to be the answer that players will look for. And so preparing for something like that, knowing that that might be the case, just opening up here with an overpool makes a lot of sense, but it's not that situation here for our Terran player. He's gone for the same build as last game. A quick academy with a second barracks following up after. He's going to have a good amount of Marines out here. He's been really aggressive with these Marines, which, you know, that could have resulted in some losses here, but he's actually kept all of his Marines alive. And it's only been the four Lings running around for Soma, which... I've spotted everything out, but he hasn't overreacted to this at all. He's just constantly building drones, getting himself into a very good position with a third hatchery, that 2.5 hatch build once again. Soma will be having a very big spike of mutas coming up here really, really soon. He may be forced to build some sunken colonies, but we're past the five minute mark now. And that spire is just about to finish here comes the scv I'm gonna go ahead and scout this main base and this will actually give shiny a little bit of an edge because he won't have to produce his comsats he's not actually making scvs right now which is a little bit worrisome um that's kind of the the reasoning is that if you're able to get in here with the scv then you can just constantly produce uh, scvs or you could yeah you could constantly produce workers and you don't actually need to build the comsat which gives you a, a little boost in workers you can get up to you know your good like 40 count of workers but he's sitting here on 33 now there are terran players who do this but it's rare to see terran players who do this and they don't uh get their comsats either he's not getting comsats he's building turrets everywhere He's got four racks in the main. Now he's going to add on a comsat, a second comsat as well. But he's sitting here on 33 workers. Usually a player like Light will go for about 35 workers. And often halt at that point to just start pounding out Marines and trying to put on a huge amount of pressure. Now here comes Soma into the main. Going to go ahead and look for some damage here. Does get a SCV and a Marine, but... Nothing too substantial. I want to be very careful going up and down this ramp here with the Marines because Soma can absolutely abuse that. That's why the turrets are placed on this side of the barracks here rather than on this side because you want to be as close to this ramp as possible. You don't want to allow the mutas to park here and just hit everything coming up the ramp. And this will kind of deter them from staying around that area. 
armor once again here from Selma. Are we just going to see Mass Muta style again? Oh, uh, no, it's not going to. Uh, Hydra Den and Queen's Nest on the way. That was... That was such a goofy game, that game number one. Absolutely just silly, honestly. What a wacky, wacky one that was. But I think that's a one in a million game. You rarely ever see that. It was like uh, it was like a Protoss player scouting a Terran player or a Zerg player, something like that. You know, where you just, you build something that's just not supposed to work at all. But once you have enough of it, it just doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> it's pretty silly. Just get the armor upgrades, build a huge amount of metas. And then uh, when you're not, you're not even supposed to be able to win against, you know, Irradiates and Valkyries. They're so cost efficient. But if you've got four more bases than your opponent <laughs> and you've got that many metas, then it doesn't really matter. This is some fantastic micro. Some mutas are going down here. He's trading out some of his marines for mutas. It's not the worst trade in the world at all for shiny, but Soma is really holding this back and he's gathering up a big chunk of lings and some more mutas that are probably going to be able to overwhelm this army in just a moment. Now, moving into a good position here, shiny is over top of this little wall here. Which means that the Lings can't, you know, it's going to be hard to get around these two sides to actually make this surround happen. Now, he could bring up a bunch over here and over here and collapse on it, but he's kind of lost control of where the mutas are at now, or sight of where the mutas are at. And so the Marines are going to make a run for it over here towards this high ground. Lurker egg on the high ground. Is that going to hold? No, it is not. That is not a perfect wall here. Now, actually, the Marines right there are going to get stuck. Looks like two Marines just, uh, like, three stooging it here. Not able to get through that crack because there's two of them trying to move through the crack at the same time. The egg is actually going to go down. Oh, my goodness. That egg gets broken open. Shiny's going to try and break through right here, right now. Beautiful control on these mutas, though. Killing off so many Marines as they come up the ramp. That is not easy to do, guys. That is really not easy. And there's the lings that were made earlier to try and swallow up this force. And they will be swallowing up this force at the end of this fight. Very well done. A small group of Marine Medic. Just going to try and trade out as best as they can. But only going to get one Muta, it seems. And they will all be taken down. Soma in a dominant position here after finishing off that bio force. It was looking hairy. A little bit scary at the top of that ramp but he just battled it out perfectly he will hold on now shiny adding on more barracks i'm just gonna annoy him a little bit here soma just flitting into the main and killing off a few marines or scvs here and there and irradiate will finally start i mean it's still a very scary terran player even though we lost that Bioforce out on the map. And Zerg has full map control for the moment. As soon as Irradiate finishes. I mean, it's going to be hard to keep this map control for much longer. How are we doing on Defilers? Do we have any Defilers coming across the map? Looks like no. No Defilers just yet. Although the Den is done or the Defiler Mound is done. That's quite a few Lurkers as well. That's... Six lurkers here at the front. The vessels don't have that irradiate yet. We're going to start irradiating, probably irradiate these two to create a gap for ourselves to move out. All right, he's actually going to go for, yeah, these two exactly. Awesome. That way he could try to shove out with the Marines and make like a wider arc to fight the rest of these lurkers. But let's see if he's actually going to be able to go for this. He is going to go for it. Here we go. Nice job with the Lings. Bringing the Lings up to block that. Very well played there by Soma. Not allowing the Marines to get out of this position. He's got a chokehold on this Terran player. And there's the Irradiate. Or, sorry, there's the um, Consume. Ah, oh, not focusing down the Scourge there. A little bit rough. 
and so the defiler will get right up into this natural the dark swarm will be laid on the bunker next you can imagine and this game is just about over shiny's trying to hold on he's only got four vessels a fifth one gonna pop out here but it's looking dire oh he just doesn't even get the kill on the lurker there perfectly done by soma it's right on top of everything here and a very clean game from him i mean start to finish soma just playing with absolute perfection here and you can't even save these SCVs anymore here comes the scourge to kill off a bunch of these science vessels he's up into the main now muta's in the main cleaning up these marines here on the high ground diving on top of all of these barracks and it is an absolute rout oh my goodness completely one-sided games here today guys we rarely uh, cast games like this but I thought it would be cool to see uh, Soma and how he's faring in 2024 turns out it's pretty good he's faring quite well and we can expect him to make an excellent comeback uh, in the coming seasons looks like not a lot of drones here he really wanted to go for that kill but added on more hatcheries afterwards. He was starting to pump out some more drones, but you can see he was still rallied to the front here. Very low dro drone count to be ending this game on, but just beautiful Zerg gameplay from Soma here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little three-game match. It was a pleasure to cast. Makes me feel a little bit better about playing Zerg as well. You can just see... There are ways to kill these terror players. This is my worst matchup. I'm often struggling here uh, on stream versus Terran, but you can, you can just see there are definitely people who have figured out this matchup and they can show you uh, through their gameplay exactly how to do it. Soma showing me that there are certainly openings in order to take down Terran players. Now, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.